My name is uh, Dr. Brian Mwila. I am an obstetrician and gynecologist based at Minas Oko Medical Center in Zambia. So the challenges regarding fertility in our country are quite many, ranging from a lack of knowledge on the part of for our clients, and that is in terms of for what the problem is, uh, but much more importantly, where to seek help from. Then where help is available, in some cases it's uh, costly, and in the case where um, IVF is required, uh, it's very expensive, and I th think that's a major obstacle for our patients in our country. So we have uh, one fertility center run uh, by, um, that is uh, privately owned. It has two branches, one in the capital, and I'm informed that one has been recently opened uh, on, the, on the Copper Belt. Where we, apart from the, the one that owns um, that privately owned IVF center, we don't have our own, although steps have been made uh, through Make Foundation to train a number of uh, IVF for uh, practitioners. So for the moment, I'm aware that uh, at least eight have passed through the Make Foundation IVF program and uh, have trained as such. We don't have a formal uh, fertility training, uh, such as the one that we've gone through. Uh, most of us uh, would encounter a little bit of fertility training during our either undergraduate uh, training, and that is a, a little uh, exemplified during the time that you are doing postgraduate uh, training. Otherwise, in the context of IV, uh, fertility training, like what we are doing, we've done here, there's none. Well, actually for me, this is like a, a blessing. Um, the gap between what I know now and what I knew then is so huge, uh, so difficult really to quantify. Uh, so it's quite pleasing that I've been filled with uh, this level of knowledge that will help um, me in my care of patients because uh, now I can properly evaluate uh, couples with infertility I can uh, prescribe the appropriate treatment uh, so that uh, the patients are able to benefit from the knowledge that we've acquired. At country level, naturally, uh, most of our couples that have been uh, hit by this problem of infertility have been lacking uh, solutions. And so it's quite pleasing when you find that uh, you are available now to render a service to your country men and women. So the MEC fertility and embryology training program is very, very important for me at personal level because it has bridged the gap in terms of uh, what I was lacking uh, in the context of uh, reproductive uh, medicine. It has empowered me with a vast knowledge that now I can use to apply in the correct diagnosis of conditions relating to infertility that affect our people, prescribed appropriate treatment, and in that context, it is hoped that the burden of infertility should be reduced countrywide. For my patients, that now I have this knowledge, it means that we will dedicate ourselves to ensuring that we get the right diagnosis prescribe the right medication, or indeed investigate them appropriately so that within the shortest possible time, we're able to achieve conception as desired by the couple, the reason for which they would have come to seek help from us. The burden of infertility, like I did mention, is one that is um, quite common, but it's a lot more overt among those couples that have not had any child at all. Those that have had a child and subsequently are unable to uh, conceive are less stigmatized than those that have never had a child before. So the problems are range from stigma to just social disharmony, where especially the female partner gets victimized, in some cases gets divorced for failure to conceive. Because on the part of uh, the male partners, the assumption for the most part is that uh, the woman is the one that has got a problem. So indeed the problem is big with a lot of social uh, problems 
and uh, uh, it requires attention. My expectations of the program did not go beyond uh, the fact that I would be taught uh, the medication that is involved in the treatment of uh, uh, couples with infertility. Uh, but to my surprise, I have come to learn that the subject is quite broad and we've been empowered with knowledge ranging from the uh, diagnostic, uh, diagnostic uh, use of uh, equipment like uh, ultrasound scans uh, to interventions uh, that meant that we were able to prescribe appropriate medication and also to provide surgical interventions such as uh, minimal invasive uh, uh, techniques, laparoscopy in this case, hysteroscopy and so on. So my expectations have been met far beyond uh, what I had uh, expected. So the intention is that um, I need to empower or to train along with me the nursing staff, uh, uh, colleagues in radiology, uh, in uh, the lab, so that we have a common understanding of what needs to be done as far as the investigation and the treatment of an infertile couple is concerned because you will agree with me that it is not possible for me to manage these patients alone. They are managed as a team, and so I have my role to play, but there are roles to be played by those others that complement a team. And so nursing care, in this case, would have to be mentored on the correct way to administer medications, for example, the timings, and so on. And likewise, the colleagues in radiology would have to be made to appreciate what it is that we look for when we send uh, clients for investigations. I would say without hesitation that this is a wonderful program that they must uh, strive to get onto. If there's any opportunity really to pursue reproductive or endocrinology, they must not hesitate. It is um, a very, very beautiful program that opens your mind to really understand how the body functions in as far as uh, reproduction is concerned and it will make the students better able appre to appreciate the challenges in terms of the physiology. Why is it this couple is not conceiving? At what, problem, at what level could this problem be? With this program, they will have this knowledge and they'll be able to uh, execute their duties with a lot of uh, professionalism and with good results. So my plans are that um, I need to, first of all, set up a fertility clinic in which these fertility um, issues will be handled. So we need to raise awareness so that those of our colleagues that were lacking knowledge or didn't know where to go need to know now that there's help available. And that from there now, we begin to routinely diagnose and treat uh, patients with infertility, scaling up to perhaps surgical interventions and in the long run, uh, possibly open up an IVF center uh, with the help of uh, colleagues uh, from uh, this place. So I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to make foundation and make foundation more than a mother for facilitating my training uh, here at uh, this institute. I'm very, very uh, grateful that I was provided this wonderful opportunity to gain the knowledge that I've been uh, given by uh, Indira Infertility Academy Training Institute.